Before this video even starts, only 29.6 of y'all are subscribed, so if you could please subscribe, that would mean the world to me. Also, don't forget to join my Discord server, where you can get updates from my channel, so you'll never miss an upload or even a stream. My Discord server link will be in the description below, but let's get right back to the video. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Theme Park Tycoon 2. Last episode, we primarily finished the last two coasters in the last video, and in this video, I wanted to make another coaster in this section of of the part. So I first started wanting to get the four this closer because this is the coaster I wanted to choose for this. And I first just started wanting to build it out and add auto smooth. And then I wanted to add the hold before drop. And then add the boosters so y'all can get flown into the sky. And then set it back to a normal track with it going back up. And then I wanted to turn auto smooth on again. And then also turn the offset to eight, giving it this weird effect with it going downhill, but also making it really smooth. But also banking it the opposite direction, giving it this smooth effect i then wanted to kind of go up while banking and then kind of go right back down once i had it right back down i wanted to add this really smooth 360 inversion right after i had that inversion i wanted to then build the coaster underground having it do a tight turn with it going up once i had it come out of the ground i wanted it to do a tight bank turn then it go into another 360 inversion once i had that inversion smooth out i then wanted to add a really cool time heel with it banking to the left and once i had that really cool and nice and smooth i then wanted to make it go into a nice sweet tight turn once i had that nice sweet turn i then went straight into the brakes and then tried building it smoothly straight to the station once i had that nice and then i then wanted to test the coaster multiple times and see where it was very rough and what parts those were once i had that i then tweaked the coaster to my liking and even having to remodel some parts to make it smooth as possible but once i was done with that i then wanted to add the colors to the coaster and if you can't already tell by the colors i wanted this to be a superman themed ride by surprise or maybe not by surprise because y'all clicked on the video and y'all saw that it was a superman themed coaster once i was done with that i would then wanted to start building some of the supports not all of them because that's what i really didn't feel like doing last time i built the two coasters and i still haven't even finished that but i'm not gonna make a whole video based off of doing supports because let's be real who wants to watch that so for the parts that i did do i wanted to build two support base structure and then two base between the two support and then i basically wanted to add a bevel cylinder making it look like it's holding the base of the structure at the bottom and then for this turn over here i just wanted to add multiple base support without it having to have another one hold it together but for this last one over here i kind of wanted to bend it a little bit and make a weird support i guess i then wanted to add the nails into the base of the support of the supports once i was done with that i gave the support structure a very nice color for our superman themed ride i think for the start of this superman build it has turned out pretty okay and fabulous for the coaster itself i do think it's been pretty smooth and i don't think i'm gonna have to be doing much fixing to it i do think the supports came out pretty cool as well and i do like the new designing to even some of the supports but i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here i hope you guys did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all all in the next video peace out Oh.